Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at some changes in female child workspace. Hopefully, this video is helpful for you, especially for those of you who have just upgraded to female child from female 11. The first information is about your project. If you create a project in Femora 11 or older version, you can open in Femora 12. By the way, after you open that project and save it on your computer with Femora 12, you cannot open it with Femora 11 or older version. So if you are editing a project with Femora 11, just finish that project and export it to final results before upgrading to Femora 12. Okay, so that is the first information about your project and the second change in Femora 12 is about the layout. Okay, so if you already upgrade to Femora 12 and open it, you will see this default layout. So it look a little bit different compared to Femora 11 or Femora 10. If you are familiar with Femora 11 editing layout, you have to switch to the classic layout. Okay, so for example, here at the default layout, you want to click this layout option. Just click here and select this option, Classic Layout, okay? Just click here. Now you have Filmora 11 Editing Layout, okay? So this is the second chance in Filmora 12. And the next chance is about your template. Normally in Filmora 11, you can find your save template and project template or stuff like that in this media folder. But in Filmora 12, they move it to this template tab Okay, so if you want to find your save template or stuff like that, you want to click here at the template and select mine here and then you want to select custom. So this is another change in Filmora Trail that you may consider when upgrading to this latest version. And the next change is about color correction process. Normally in Filmora 11, if you want to do the color correction for the video, you have two options. The first one is the basic color correction and the second one is the advanced color correction window. By the way, in Filmora 12, they removed the advanced color correction window. So now you don't have that window anymore. If you want to do the color correction for your video, all you need to do is to double click at the video here or the timeline and now you select the color tab right here and select basic and HSL and curves or stuff like that. You don't have an option to open the advanced color correction editor anymore. Okay, so this is the next change in Filmora Trail. And the next one is about the preview quality button. Normally your preview quality button will be right here on top right of the timeline. By the way, in Filmora Trail, they move it to top left of the preview screen. And now you have only three preview quality options. The first one is full quality, half quality, and a quarter quality. Okay, so that is the next change in Filmora Trail. And the last change in Filmora Trail is about exporting a transparent background. Okay, so normally in Filmora 11, you are able to export a transparent background. But now in Filmora Trail, it's work a little bit different. For example, here I have a title, okay. So I have a title here, for example, I can put it right here. What if I want to export this title with a transparent background? I can press X to select this title and then I can click the export button. Okay. And now instead of select MP4, I can select GoPro Cineform now and I can put it a name title with transparent background. Normally in Filmora 11, we want to click setting and then we can change the encoder to CFHD Alpha. By the way, we now have an option right here, export Alpha channel. So if we check this box, we now able to export a transparent background video. Okay, for example, I can click export. And open the folder. Okay, so this is the title with transparent background. I can drag and drop it into Filmora Trail and put it right here. And now I can cancel the selected range. And this is a title. We can just put it on our video. And this is a transparent title. You see, you see the video under it, right? So this is how to export a transparent background in Filmora Trail. 
All right, so these are some important changes in Femoral Trail you may want to know before upgrading to this latest version. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know at the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.